Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna create the new family. Have you ever think you have the door, but you have the right and the left side of the door when you're opening it? Yes, you can use in Revit the flip. But once you will use in Revit the flip, you will get the problem. You cannot calculate how many doors you have on the left side, how many doors you have on the right side. And it will be mistaken everything because if you will flip one door and you not flip another door, it maybe seems like this is door same, but it's not. Today we will create the simple family or you will understand the principles how you can reach the left or the, the right side of the door and how you can calculate it really faster. So let's get to it. As always, the first thing what we're gonna do, open your Revit and after that go to the family and let's create the new one. We will create the new family. As you understand, we need a metric generic door based. If you are using the imperial system, just use the imperial system. This, this doesn't matter. So as you can see, this is here the metric door. So let's open up it. Here we already have something for the door, but we will change it and we will create our own one. As you can see here, uh, we have the equal distance, we have the width of the door, but we don't have the panel of this door. As you can see, this is empty. We don't have any panel. And the reason we will create this panel, because we want our own one. So, and what we are gonna do the first thing? We not will change here anything, we will go straight away to the file, here the new, and here you will find the family. After that go just to metric generic model, that's it, we don't need anything, only just metric generic model, done. Let's go inside to the metric generic model, here we are, new version as you can see. So, the first thing, as always, we will create the some reference planes. So let's, let's create the reference planes on the one side, on the left side, and the right side, and on the top one, and on the bottom one. So as you can see, we have the few reference lines. Why you, we need the, so many reference lines, you can check on the, my previous videos. I always talking about that. So we did it. The next thing what we're gonna do, we need dimensions. So let's do create dimensions. I will create dimensions like this and I will make it equal. The one principle, it should be on the middle one, like that one. So let's use one more dimension here and let's create the equal one. Now we need overall dimension, let's put one here and overall dimension, let's put it here. So this dimension will get the parameter W, so this is the width and let's make it instance. Let's say OK, let's say OK. This the parameter will be thickness it's will call T or you can change whatever name just don't forget the which type of the name you are using so this is will be T the next thing just go to the create extrusion and here you will find the rectangular let's use the rectangular I will draw a rectangle some, some, somewhere offset from the my line because the next thing what I will use I will use the align and I will align one line by to the to the another line. Just don't be rush. One line to the another line. We're not finished. Now we need the height of the door. As you can see, you can find it here extrusion end. So this is, will be our height. So as you understand, this is will be H. Let's use the H. And here is the will be instance two. Let's make it instance. Let's say okay. Let's say okay. Uh, let's me will go to the family types and. As you can see, I forgot to make the thickness to the instance. Let's select my thickness. Let's go to the edit parameter and let's change it to the instance. Let's say OK. And let's prepare it before we will load up inside to the project. The height of the, my door, let's say, will be standard, 2100 mm. The thickness of my door will be also pretty standard, 50 mm. And the width of the, my door will be 900 mm. Done. Let's say OK, and here is my door. If you will go to the 3D, as you can see, here is the My Panel. As simple as that. But before we will do something else, we should save it. Let's save it, because we, we need the right name. Save the family. And let's call it, I don't know, how you want. Let's call it Door Panel. Door Panel. Let's call it Door Panel, and let's load it up inside to the, our main family. So here is my door panel, as you can see. Let me, I will place somewhere here. Here is my door panel. And now the reason we need um, rotate it. Let's, I will rotate it like this. And now it's interesting story. 
If you will use a line straight away, you will get a trouble. So let's use the align. Let's I will try to align to this reference line and I will align with this corner. And this is a trouble. Actually, how we can solve it? Before you will align to somewhere, select your door panel and here you will find the parameters. Our parameter it's the thickness first, which will we change. So let's I will click on that and I will create here door panel thickness and let's leave it on the type let's say ok let's say ok and now will be magic let's use the align key and let's align it and as you can see the it's not extruding the reason because now it's parameter on the type so it's not will be variable the same thing we should make with the other parameters like h and w let's go inside to the door and let's do the same. As you can see, door, panel, and as you understand, here will be height. Let's write door, panel, panel, and here will be height. Okay, and the last one here, again, door, panel, and width. So here we are, let's say OK, let's say OK. And now if I will use the align key to align on with this position, it's also not changing. Don't forget to lock it. I will try again. Oh, I forgot to lock it. As you can see, here is our door. And here is the my, uh, it's actually a mistake because the door should be, be somewhere here. It's not like that, but we will leave it on that side. It's OK for us for now. So we did the door, but we should create one more parameter. Let's select this panel. Let's go to the visibility. Here is the graphics visible and let's create the parameter. This parameter will be left. And let's leave it on the type one. Let's say okay, let's say okay. Now let's select this door panel and let's copy it. Yes, we will copy it. Now I will use the align key and now we again we will align to the all the side. So we will align the right side to the right side and now I will select this door I will go now to the visibility graphics I will create the new one and right type one okay so right now we already finished but now we should create the simple formula to which help us to make it right or the left okay let's go now to the uh, to the our uh, parameters and here is our, as you can see, parameters here. Where is the, our left and right? So it's here, as you can see, left and right. The, uh, let's write here the, for example, for the right door, not, not left. Oh, I forgot this code. Let me do it. Yes, I want to make it like this. Now it will be work. So how it's working? If you will check here the left, it will be left. If it's you, I will uncheck it, it will be right. So as simple as that, as you can see. So if it's uh, uncheck it, we will create the type. This is, will be right door. Right. And we will create the new type. This is, will be left. Don't forget, check it. And let's say, okay. Now you cannot see any difference. So for that one, I will create a new, a new type of the project. Let's create a new project. Doesn't matter which one. Let's place here the door. Here will be, I mean, mm, I mean the wall. Let me, I will load inside my door. And I will place it here. I will place two different door. As you can see, if I will select this one, it's right. This one, it's right. But let me, I will change to the left. Done. As you can see, we're not using this uh, flip one. If you will use this flip one, this will be mistake. Don't use it. You should place only the right door. If you want to right, place right. If you want to left, place left. So what it help us? How? We can now go to the schedule. Let's create this schedule and let's uh, use the doors. And now we, for example, want to uh, just family and type. 
and we want to understand is it left or right let's find the parameters left and right and now we should use the type one let's load it inside let's say okay and now you can see we for example can change the name of our door but type it will be always right and left you can create your own parameter this is not not a big problem so you can create the new new parameter to make it right uh, right or left but anyway now you can sort it for example here you want to see only the right doors or here you want to see only the left doors this is not problem you can do that for example you don't want to see here is the right okay use it here the family so find here the family place it and you will see name of the family type of the family done as simple as that as I said so by this way you can control the is door the left or is door the right because if you will just flip you not will control it for don't forget about that so if you find this tutorial reason I don't know uh, useful for you don't forget about the likes and comments thank you guys and see you next tutorial